Hello my fellow friends, it's Chris from Shughead Gaming. The PSVR, now in its fifth year, is the veteran headset in the industry, and as such, has one of the best library of VR games available, including a bunch of Sony exclusives you can only experience on the PSVR. There were some tough cuts here for me, but for your consideration, here is Shughead Gaming's top 20 must-own PSVR games. Before jumping in, please be aware that this list will not include some of the amazing free games available in the store. Games like Rec Room are some of the most popular PSVR games, but they are free, so you can easily check them out for yourself. And of course, if you like this video, please hit that like button. It not only helps out my channel, but VR gaming as a whole. And if you'd like to see more VR content from me, please consider subscribing. And for video updates, make sure you hit that bell icon. And finally, I would love to hear your favorite games, so by all means, fire off your thoughts in the comments to offer some other ideas. Blood and Truth, a Sony exclusive, kicks off this list and stands as a brilliant example of what is possible in VR when some money is given to a AAA developer. A full game based around the tease that was London Heist in the PSVR Worlds collection, Blood and Truth feels like a summer action movie that drags you along to help shoot some enemies. Its on-rails nature keeps it from being higher on this list, but it is one of the best-looking PSVR games and an amazing showpiece of the tech. Brian, are you sure about this? Get me underneath! Closer! Closer! No! Average weekend, really. <laughs> a launch title for the PSVR, Rush of Blood was and still stands as my go-to VR experience to put friends and family into when showing off my PSVR. Its simple shoot and reload rail shooter design makes it easy to pick up and play, while its combination roller coaster, haunted house, and shooter gameplay mechanics provide the ultimate first VR experience. With high production values and very polished game mechanics, Until Dawn Rush of Blood is simple pick-up-and-play fun that still stands as one of the best PSVR games to date. Killing Floor Incursion is a made-for-VR game based on the Killing Floor Horde mode franchise. Some may find the controls a lot at first as the game requires the use of two move controllers to handle full locomotion and dual wielding of weapons, but the payoff is an awesome 4-hour campaign that actually delivers a more solid playing experience than the standard Horde mode gameplay found in the two core franchise entries. Fear not though, as Killing Floor Incursion also has its own Horde mode, which along with the entire campaign can be played alongside a friend in online co-op. Killing Floor Incursion plays like a next-generation version of Arizona Sunshine and combines amazing visuals and awesome gun and melee combat to deliver one of PSVR's best shooters. Bonus points awarded for being able to chop off a zombie's arm and then beat him with it. Seriously, you need to get a grip. As an 80s kid, I often dreamed of flying like Astro Boy. Decades later in the PSVR exclusive, Iron Man VR took my dream and improved on it. The 68-hour campaign hosts a story that is pretty typical, but the real star here is the flight and fire gameplay, which is a marvel to experience. Eh? Eh? Marvel? Alright, anyway, Iron Man is an awesome experience that gave me another holy shit VR moment and is only lower on this list because it simply runs out of ideas too soon. The world needs you, Tony. The world needs Iron Man. Super Hot is next on my list and years later still remains as one of the best games to demonstrate to people why VR will change the way we play games. Don't let its simple black, white, and red visuals dissuade you from experiencing what is basically the Matrix experience in VR. In Super Hot, time only moves when you do, resulting in combat that plays out more like a puzzle game than a traditional shooter. Nothing on PSVR makes you feel like more of a badass than orchestrating the perfect tapestry of death as you crawl, jump, and crouch all over your living room. In your underwear. Super hot. Super hot. Next up, a game that really needs no introduction is No Man's Sky. 
honestly a contender for a spot in the top three. No Man's Sky on PSVR sits lower on this list simply because it often feels too ambitious for the tech, resulting in an often blurry and low detail experience in the headset. That being said, this is the full No Man's Sky game in VR and will blow your mind time after time, whether you are flying through planets' atmospheres, exploring cave systems, taming creatures, building underwater bases, piloting mechs, or any number of the epic possibilities found here in this game. Not just a quick VR add-on, this was a complete rebuild for VR and it shows. Here's hoping it gets a visual bump with the PS5. Another quality launch title that has stood the test of time is Battlezone. With its Tron-like graphics, some may write this off as a crap VR title, but you would be wrong. Battlezone's deep upgrade tree and strategic campaign structure make it perfect for multiple replays, and especially when co-oping the campaign with a friend. A multitude of tank and weapon choices is at your disposal as you take on level after level of increasingly difficult and diverse enemies. Sitting in your fully realized cockpit is an amazing feeling as you glide through levels and pick off enemies from either above or below, taking on boss structures and desperately trying to survive the arcade onslaught. Battlezone is still to date one of the most complete and polished games available for the PSVR. If you have followed this channel for a while, then you know I think this next game is one of the most underappreciated shooters across all the VR headsets. Space Junkies is a jet fuel 3v3 zero gravity shooter that screams Unreal Tournament and has the polish to deliver it. Continually worked on post-launch by Ubisoft, Space Junkies got more maps, more guns, and more modes, along with two-handed move support, making it one of my favorite shooters, period, in VR. With basically no single-player content, though, and no bot support, you will likely need to find friends or groups to team up with. But with the less-than-stellar recent release of Solaris on PC in Quest, it simply reminded me how good Space Junkies is. <sighs> Next up is Electronauts, and easily the biggest surprise hit for me on the PSVR. Being an avid fan of the rock band and Guitar Hero games, my lazy ass absolutely loves the feeling of playing and modifying my favorite music while being instantly awesome with zero talent. Electronauts brings that same feeling to electronic music and makes you feel like the world's best DJ. Playing Electronauts is like being a painter, but every stroke is the Mona Lisa. Electronauts dispenses with a scoring system and instead simply puts you in one of over 40 licensed tracks and gives you all the samples, vocals, and instruments to experiment with, allowing you to jam and riff until your heart desires and deliver the perfect set. Giving you the ability to loop tracks, free drum, and remix all at once in this virtual environment simply could not be done outside of VR. With polished visuals, tight controls, and innovation to spare, Electronauts easily makes one of my top picks. For many PSVR owners, one of our best memories was first grabbing the aim controller and jumping into Farpoint. This was one of the first games that made flat gamers take notice as PSVR stepped into FPS territory with a definitive middle finger to the shooters that had come before it. While little light on content at launch, Farpoint was the first and still one of the best games to put a gun in our hands and tell us to go live out our Halo fantasies. Nothing prepared me for the feeling of pulling a shotgun from behind my back and unloading it into what was basically the arachnid from Starship Troopers, and since that experience, flat shooters became tame and obsolete forever. With AAA production values, co-op modes, and a 1v1 PvP mode, Farpoint delivers the goods and still stands tall as one of the definitive PSVR games of all time. have won the match. Wipeout the Omega Collection came literally out of nowhere and now stands as a shining example of how and why developers should port flat games to VR. Wipeout is so perfect as a VR racer, it makes playing it flat an absolute joke in comparison. With some fantastic graphical trickery, Wipeout makes the jump to PSVR with almost zero graphical concessions and delivers a visual display that to be honest almost looks like the next generation of VR. It's that good. Everything from the core game is here, from all three base games and the complete online experience. Trust me, nothing will prepare you for the feeling of screaming vertically up a trackside, all while sitting right inside your very own racing craft. I think the kid inside me that bought his own copy of Wipeout on the PS1 just peed himself a little. A video game phenomenon in its own right, Beat Saber takes the next spot on this list. Combining music, rhythm, game mechanics with dual lightsabers while on paper sounds like an odd mix, 
it turned out to be really awesome. Originally released on PC VR, Beat Saber made its way to the PSVR as the same polished and addictive game we all hoped it would be, but now with new modes like 180 degree maps and the recently added multiplayer feature. Unlike its PC and Quest counterparts, the PlayStation version lacks the ability to upload custom songs, meaning new songs will come from paid DLC to keep things fresh. But regardless, Beat Saber seems to be at no risk of slowing down and for many is reason alone to buy a PSVR headset. With its cel shaded graphics and excellent deep gunplay, Borderlands 2 was the perfect VR game we didn't know we wanted. With all the flat version DLC packed in, Borderlands 2 on PSVR is as awesome as you hoped it would be. For those Borderlands versions, Borderlands 2 is an open world RPG light shooter with a healthy obsession with guns. With an awesome sense of humor and some genuinely awesome gun assortments, Borderlands 2 is fun and addicting enough to play through the main campaign with all the unique character classes. With a multitude of movement and control options and the addition of aim support, the only thing missing is multiplayer, but regardless, it remains a must-play PSVR game for shooter fans. Who's ready for a mother humping tea party? Next on the list as we get down to the best of the best is none other than Skyrim. If you are one of the few who haven't taken the journey through Tamriel, I hate you. And I'm super jealous that you get to experience this rich and deep open world RPG for the first time in VR. Playing Skyrim is an all-encompassing experience and made all the better in VR. Nothing will quite prepare you for the feeling of looking out off a mountaintop on the valley below and realizing this world is now your virtual playground to live inside. With the core game and all the previously released DLC, Skyrim is a masterpiece on PSVR, and despite some choice game mechanics that could have been better optimized for VR, the port to VR works incredibly well, and is especially stunning when playing on the PS4 Pro. Step aside Crash, as PlayStation has a new platforming mascot in the form of Astro. Astrobot Rescue Mission, developed by Sony's own Japan Studio, is absolute platformer perfection that actually manages to out Nintendo Nintendo. The Miyamoto magic resonates through Astrobot, giving anyone who plays it a giant smile as they take a big bite out of video game comfort food. With five worlds consisting of 27 levels and an additional 27 challenge levels, Astrobot amazes with constantly outdoing each prior level with new and innovative game mechanics and level design. The world of Astrobot, regardless of whether you are on the OG PS4 or Pro, is visually stellar in the headset and complemented well with the excellent controls, sound effects, and fantastic original soundtrack. Young or inexperienced gamers alongside hardcore gamers will all find something to like in this instant classic and must-own PSVR title. A new addition to the PSVR library, Star Wars Squadrons finally delivers on the tease that was the single mission in Star Wars Battlefront. Offering some deceptively deep gameplay mechanics, Squadron plays like the proper spiritual successor to the now classic X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter game from 1997, prompting little kids trapped inside adult bodies everywhere to lose battle control with glee over the experience of dogfighting inside an X-Wing. Featuring 4v4 online dogfights, a co-op mode, over 50 loadout options, and a full 8-hour campaign, Star Wars Squadrons is a love letter to an era of space sims, while simultaneously redefining it in VR. Now, fire all boost thrusters! As a sim racer with a racing rig, Dirt Rally was already one of my favorite racing games of all time. With an amazing physics engine along with incredible sounds and visuals, Dirt Rally has few peers. Incredibly, Codemasters has managed to take that entire game and with basically only a resolution downgrade, ported the whole wonderful experience to PSVR. With a robust physics engine combined with detailed textures and weather effects and online rallycross multiplayer, Dirt Rally stands as the benchmark for real-world racers on the PSVR, and the game developers of GT Sport and Drive Club should take note of. This hardcore rally racer isn't for everyone though, as it's a punishing and unforgiving rally sim, but nothing on PSVR can beat the rush of throwing a 400 horsepower rally car into a corner at high speeds, then looking out your side window at the road ahead, only to realize your door is gone. Maybe the only AAA flat game to get a VR option at launch, Resident Evil 7 in VR really is the only way to play it if you have the means. Despite some visual downgrades made less pronounced if you have a pro, Resident Evil 7 in VR is still stunning and absolutely more terrifying when you find yourself actually walking inside this dilapidated farmhouse of horrors, and not simply playing as a bystander watching your TV. Resident Evil 7 in VR gives you nowhere to look away for protection, so you must actually survive as you are stalked, shot at, and locked up. 
All of the thrills in the world alone wouldn't make it a good game though, so thankfully Resident Evil 7 also stands as one of the best in the series, delivering story, puzzles, and gunplay that stands as some of the best in the series. Resident Evil's 12-hour campaign and additional free DLC campaign make this a game to really invest some time into, so if you haven't played it yet, get your diapers and sippy cup and go experience one of the best premier VR titles ever made. I gotta get out of this. <laughs> Yes, it only has one mode, attack and defend, and yes, it has some matchmaking issues, but for me, running and gutting along with three other buddies and our aim controllers probably ranks up there in my top five gaming moments ever. The maps are amazing and the gunplay fun and frantic, but what makes this game special is the camaraderie and friendships it creates between complete strangers. With a strong and friendly player base, Firewall Zero Hour is a game I never get bored of jumping into. The dynamic nature of the gameplay means each and every match plays out differently than the prior ones, making this the ultimate just one more match game. With its real world visuals, 8 player PvP action, and continued seasonal updates of maps, guns, and operators, I honestly still can't believe that First Contact has managed to bring this game to the PSVR. But nonetheless, coming from a developer team that has worked on some of the biggest shooters of all time, they have delivered a shooter that when combined with the aim controller makes it alone a reason to buy a PSVR. Hostile utilized. Straight up, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners is one of my favorite VR games on both the PC, Quest, and PSVR, and probably one of my favorite games period of 2020. Skydance Interactive blew my mind with the PSVR port that seems to simply ignore hardware limitations. Needless to say, PS4 proners will get a more refined looking game, but make no mistake, regardless of headset, Saints and Sinners is the same deep 18 hour campaign with a rating to match. Scrounge for loot, craft weapons, and upgrade your character as you attempt to survive the zombie apocalypse in New Orleans. With so many great PSVR games these days, a list like this is almost impossible to do without feeling mixed feelings about apps and games. But for me, the number one game was the easiest to pick, and for good reason. Heaven has turned against us, and hell is rising up. Anyways guys, that's it for me, and remember, if you like this video, please hit that like button, it really helps out the channel. And if you'd like to see more VR content from me, please consider subscribing. Thanks for stopping by guys, and I'll catch you on my next video.